Hello, welcome to Stretch 3D Printing. In this video, I'll be taking a look at Orca Slicer version 2.1 official release. Let's scratch to this topic. Before I get into the video, I just want to say that it's been a very busy week for me. I really need to catch up on 3D printing, all the news and updates and stuff like that. I apparently miss Orca Slicer RC version or release candidate version. I'll be covering that in this video too. So let's go over to GitHub right now and see what they have in store for us. I am in GitHub right now and this is Orca Slicer version 2.1 release candidate or RC release. This has been out for a whole week and I missed it but let's see what they have in store for us right now. Let's see what they change here. Allow opt out outer wall when adjusting speed for slow down for layer cooling. Okay so wait what exactly is this? Oh okay so as you can see here right it has a different color there and then they say don't slow down outer wall and now everything is in sync. I love this man. I was wondering why is this key happening? I have been messing around with Orca Slicer setting for like hours and hours trying to figure out why it keeps having a different speed at different layer for the outer wall and I could not get it to work or I couldn't find the solution. It's just not there. But now they integrated that into the version 2.1 which is so nice i'm going to be using this because if your 3d printer is printing at different speed you are going to get different coloring and the layer is not going to be consistent this creative slow down approach enhances printing quality and yes that is very true so the option here is on and then this one is off as you can see here right at the nose of orca slicer the one that is off is a little bit worse than the one that is on. The one that is on is a little bit more consistent throughout the whole thing. If the layer light is bad, all of them is bad and then it looks good. Unlike this one, some of them looks good, some of them looks bad and it just turned out to be like a really bad print. So it's good that they have this option now. They added some thumbnail feature enhancement, nice, better 3D navigator, amazing. The view cube now looks better nice oh look at this we can now view top side corner and stuff like that so nice okay take filament flow ratio into account when displaying flow value and g-code length by software work on now accounts for the flow ratio value specific in filament setting when displaying flow each extrusion in g-code legend this only affect g-code pu okay so now it shows the flow here and the flow up here but the flow here is yellow which is a little bit slow so it's like about 3.2 which is nice more information equals a lot better and they fix more stuff fix this thing fix bugs and stuff like that they also add more g-code more things for 3d printers okay now let's go and look at orca slicer version 2.1 official release this update includes minor fixes and new translation so all the details and new feature is in the beta and the rc version so let's see what changes they improve fuzzy skin okay they improve fuzzy skin in the version 2.1 official release let's take a look at this they put some arrow here showing like the before is like this and the after is like being uniform and random which is always nice i do find fuzzy skin sometimes printed way too bad so i don't really use it and um, maybe i'll try to use it since they have improved it a little bit that is basically it they just improve the fuzzy skin which is still something very good because i know that some people out there really love using fuzzy skin they tweak some of the ui new languages and minor improvements and stuff like that which is always nice okay as so you saw right there orca slicers rc version and official release version is out there so if you want the latest version of orca slicer there will be links down below you can go to github and download it yourself and use it orca slicer is a really good slicer the main thing that i really like for this update is in the rc version the outer wall layer slowdown because like i said when i look at the speed and the flow in orca slicer it's always different let's say 10 layer is printing at 100 millimeters per second and then the next five is printing at 200 millimeters per second and then the next 10 is printing at 100 millimeters per second again and then it just keep going like that. When it's done and you look at the part, you can actually see that it's like that. The 10 layer that is printing slower is like a darker color. And then the one that prints faster has a lighter color to it. Even though it's the same filament, it has different color shifting because of how fast it's extruding out the nozzle and how fast it's getting cool. And all of that matters into the color and the finish of how 
smooth and good your 3D printing part is. So it's really good that they included that option now. I'm going to be using that and hopefully all my 3D printing parts are looking so much better from this point onward. Because I really tried changing the outer wall speed, inner wall speed, the max volume matrix, cooling, put cooling to zero set the minimum speed to this, set the maximum speed to this, and I could not still get the same speed and the same flow for the auto wall, but now the option is there, so I will be using it. Yeah, that is basically it for this video of me checking out Orca Slicer, the new updates. I'm excited for this, and if you haven't yet, subscribe to the channel because more amazing videos is coming. Leave a like. Comment down below, do you use Orca Slicer? Or do you have a preferred slicer that you use every single day? Let me know in the comments down below and I will answer you as soon as possible. Thank you so much for watching and as always, keep on 3D printing.